Welcome back to the Listen Up Podcast, where we analyze a new album each week. I'm Jamie, and this week we've got me, Nick, Junior, and Jordan. Okay, it's the Burman, Junior. This week we're going to be taking a look at The Leak, an EP by Lil Wayne released in 2007, and it was picked by Jordan. Jordan, why did you choose this for us this week? I want to say sorry, Nick. You said Junior, and I think that's what you were going for. I, I don't know if you were or not, but then like that's what it that's what it sounds like when he says it in this song. It sounds like he says like it doesn't sound like Junior to me. Yeah, it I know. Sounds, it like sounds like Junior, like chewing Junior, Junior, Junior. But then that reminds me. Just, so that's why that's just that everything he says though. But I picked it's never this album clear because you first do. of all, it has some bangers on it. Right? There's one song that I love on it, like love, love. Um, but. Is it, and just uh, how this out, love what? Me or hate me? I do like that one a lot, but the one I fell in love with—that's that, probably my second favorite. Maybe my first, might be my first favorite later on once I listen to it more. But right now, the one that I love the most is "I'm Me." That's okay. the one that I originally found. Um, I'm pretty sure I listened to this album because I was watching like a Chance the Rapper interview, like sometime in my life, and I can't—I I know Chance said it, but he was talking about like who he likes and stuff, and he was like, his wife. Yeah, he also loves that. her, dude. <laughs> Holy cow! He was like, he was like, Lil Wayne was like Carter. The Carter Three is one of like the best albums ever, and it got leaked during while he was making it. Then he just made that into an album, and then released the Carter Three, and it was still as legendary as it was. Wait, so so, so are these songs on an album too? Yes. Oh, okay. He literally it, it got leaked, so instead of just waiting to release it on his album, he just released it as an album to give the audience a higher quality version of leaked songs that had already been out, right. and then still made the Carter Three as good as it is today. And some people say like that's his best album too. Okay, that's kind of a baller move. That's kind. Yeah, it's kind of ghost. I remember you said uh, you had said like you like the backstory or whatever for it, and I purposefully didn't do any research. Yeah. So he. Like, like imagine one of your art. That's like a little bit what happened with Denzel Curry and Kenny, except they kind of they did it a little differently, where they kind of leaned into it like really, really hard, and was like, mm-hmm. "This is this is." They had a lot of promotion with the album um, that came with also it leaking, but Lil Wayne was kind of just like, "Oh, here, I'll just toss this to you guys, and then make Carter Three still." You know, and it was like, aren't there? Are there five or six Carters? There's five, five right five, now. Five, right? That's a, yeah. Yeah. Dude, also, Nick, Carter five, quick, so good. Show us that glass again. It looks like an ashtray from like 1990 that got turned into a glass. It kind of does. I love it. <laughs> it, we'll, it does. Uh, we'll put it in the mood board. Yeah. What it, is that? That's not your glass. That's like wherever the company's got you no, standing it's, up. It's right mine. Now, right? I bought it. That's yours. You bought yeah, that glass. He, he literally bought it, dude. For the hell of it, dude. I'm not, I'm not even joking right now. Like I, I actually dude, did he's literally not joking. <laughs> did right you, now, now did you buy a set or is that a like a goodwill one off? I just purchase? bought one. Okay. Yep. He just bought one. Not, yeah. I. Uh, he's not. I, I, with I, you. Yeah, I was listening to um, some podcasts and like watching a bunch of cooking videos and stuff where people were making cocktails, and I was like, Oh yeah. I was like, I, I want to try that a little classic. bit. Yeah. And then I was like, mm-hmm. I can't just put a cocktail in like a coffee mug. Or like yeah, you got like to get at least some glassware. Yeah, yeah. That's true. so I, I bought this glass. I know that's that's one. As I get closer and closer to my my real job start date, I can't wait to be able to like stock a bar and try m- more than just a Moscow Mule or a Margarita. Mm-hmm. I have that's uh, what I make. I I I've had an engineer job for two months now, and still I look at alcohol prices and I'm like, good God, I don't. I don't know. I bought like a lot of alcohol when I went just to like kind of stock a bar and like make stuff whenever I wanted to. But like, uh, I still didn't buy any like top shelf gin because it was so expensive. Well, right. I mean, wait, what'd you say? I mean, you could get up. How much is it? Uh, 
Well, like the top top shelf stuff is like ridiculous. It's probably not as much as like vodka, like top shelf vodka and like uh, all the like black crown like like whiskey and stuff that can get up to like a hundred bucks. But the the gin is like good gin is probably like thirty five dollars for like a fifth. Yeah, probably probably the best gin I would still pay money for that's not crazy to me is Hendrix. That's a really good one. I think that's the uh, kind I almost bought. It's really good. It, yeah. it it's got that cool ass like eighteen eighties medicine bottle look going. Yeah, on yeah. It, it. It's like a like a short squatted bottle. Like yeah, and it's got yeah. like the cork top or whatever. Uh-huh. That that is, I find it to be worth it. But shout out, uh, shout Ryan, out Ryan Reynolds. I, I buy Aviation because that's that's my favorite gin. It is good so far that I've had. It's one of the celebrities celebrity alcohols that's actually like really good pretty good bombay sapphire not that good terrible not very good I don't <laughs> Lil wayne's mumbu bombu is that gin i think it's whiskey or oh, okay i can't remember i think i think it's whiskey i thought about I buying that, um, i didn't know that wayne was involved in the celebrity booze market yeah bombu, original bombu bombu i thought i thought about buying uh midland the country band i thought about buying their tequila and then i was like why would I pay $40 for a fifth of tequila if I don't like tequila? Yeah, see. Now, now George Clooney's, uh, his, Casamigos. he's like, yeah, Casamigos is the, the best tequila I've had. I still don't like it because I still don't <laughs> like tequila. Uh-huh. Uh, but it, someone came over uh, for like, I think it was like for David, we had like a celebration and one of our friends brought a fifth of Casamigos and there was like four shots in it. So he just left it. Um and I finished it. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was just tequila. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a hell of a lot better than, you know, like Cuervo. But <laughs> I, uh, still, like, I haven't bought any on my own accord. I know so. uh, Brandon Wardell's current drink of choice is a tequila soda, so I've, I've got to try that since I'm the, the Brandon tequila Wardell soda. stan of the podcast. Hey, I, I watched him say, on Hot Takes, okay? Me too. I thought you were going to say I thought you were gonna say tequila Sunwise, and I was like, oh, that's very reasonable. That's a that's a good one. But then you said soda. <laughs> tequila Sunrises are okay. I've had one of those before, I think. Mm-hmm. I think, I think yeah. they're like my dad's favorite cocktail. I'm, oh, yeah. not, I'm not sure. I know he likes them. I don't know if it's his favorite. But he also, he really likes a Guinness with some whiskey in it. Black and tans are good. Like not like an, a, not an ICB because he doesn't use like Jameson, so it's not necessarily a correct uh, mm. put a politically criminal drink. Um, <laughs> but I, I, th- I think he likes um, it's some blackstrap rum that he him and him and his friend Larry they like, can like scarcely find it, and whenever they do, they always like buy two and they give the other person one of them or something like that. Just, just the true boys. boy shit, you know. Grown up boys shit. Yeah. Um, but how did man, you guys did feel I... about the album? I still stand by. Wayne is like Pusha for me, where he is a hundred percent a feature artist. Really? I, this is Cap. I don't necessarily like to hear three verses from Wayne. You know, one verse is good most more more often than not. And My he's man. got a, a. The ones that I feel like I really like by him are just. It's purely nostalgia driven. It's from like you know, a Millie and shit like that that came out back when, when you had school. music taste. Yep. Back before I had music taste, one <laughs> one could also argue. So you think Lil uh, Wayne has made no good music, no good music by himself, by himself, not featured? I'm not saying he hasn't made good music. I'm saying I don't like his music. Uh, why like not? It, it, there, there are qualities. I hmm. really 100, 100. Hmm. I don't like his voice. I really don't like his voice or his delivery. Yeah. And that's what it is. It, it It's not – like, his music's fine. Like, I don't think that his music's any different than other artists that I really do like. But I just don't – it's hard for me to get over his voice. I really don't like it. It hurts This sometimes. This viewpoint is coming from, from the point of view of a man who unironically listens to The Lonely Island, everyone. Okay? The – the the lonely They've island great they, they are they are funny <laughs> and like they do like they they have good production value but Lil Wayne is just as funny in in the first song on this yeah. EP this man says the Say only it. time I will depend is when I'm seventy years old go ahead that's when yeah. I can't hold See, my shit at, within so I shit on myself because I'm so that's sick and tired of shitting on everyone like he- 
when I'm 70 years old. That's when I can't hold my shit within. So I shit on myself, cause I'm so sick and tired of shit on everybody else. I'm trying to take He's got up. he's got funny bars. I like his writing. Dude. I just I would like it more if he wasn't the one delivering it. That that bar is All one right. of the reasons why I picked this okay. album. Also, like it's fun, dead ass. It's like, like, like I was like, like I, I was saying. like, we like, need to mention this bar because like there's I'm, a lot of poop I'm, jokes. Like you, you yeah. always come up with the things where it's like Kodak saying, "I'm the shit, I'm farting," and then like, but this one, this one never comes up though, and I think it's like the yeah. funniest one. It's it's a good one. I mean, and like I said, he's like I, that's why I said he doesn't make bad music. I just don't <laughs> like his music. There's a difference there. Where like I recognize that his writing's good, and that's why I like him in features. I mean, he likes the ver- the features he's in. I assume he's writing his features. They're some of the best. Like like they're really good li- and clever lyrics. I just hate his voice, and the so LSD that's why I don't feature. listen to his music. The LSD feature, his feature in Forever, he's got one of my favorites. I think I think Eminem might have my favorite feature on there, but then it but Lil Wayne and Kanye are really good, and then Drake's like you know, Drake's pretty uh, good at that. I mean, it's still good. Oh, but, they're uh, all good. Yeah. But like, if I were to tier can, list, though. can we also go through to for the line? Okay, first of all, another thing I like about this, it resets like the beat and like chorus at the end. Like the first time I heard this, I thought I had the song in like replay mode. Me too. I had the same exact thing where I was that like, just "What the fuck?" Did I while I was working out before the podcast? I don't love it. It like it like, dude. I I, I like it a lot because it, it like brings you back to the beginning. You're like, "What is?" Like I went to go look, and I'm like. Oh, this is the same song still. Okay, this is kind of cool because I was like, but then another another line, he said, "I'm from the mud. I am a missile like a scud. What's really good? I'm about that ruckus like fud." Junior, junior. It's cash money over everything. It's in my blood. I feel it running in every vein. I'm from the mud. I am a missile like a scud. What's really good? I'm about that ruckus like fud, and I stayed on my flow. Fud ruckus? How could you not just like fud? I do love oh, that. Oh, I never, gosh, I didn't dude. notice that, dude. Crazy. Well, when was the last what? time? Okay, that's how you know this album was made in 2007 because no one today would ever. No one <laughs> today knows what fud ruckers is. That's true. That's like true. if you're not, uh, like if you're under the age of like 18, there's no way you know what fud ruckers is. Yeah. Are there are there any left? I don't. I have. drive by an abandoned one with like. Plants growing up the walls every day on the way to work. <laughs> <laughs> you drive. You drive by the dystopian fud. I do. <laughs> I mean, dude. I should, like, I should post up outside it. My memories of fud ruckers are we because I I've think there might have been one in Winston, but my parents hated it, so we never went. But there was one uh, on in Hainsville South Boulevard? Carolina, maybe. But the one that I remember going to, one of my cousins, I don't remember which one, but they would they that was like their birthday restaurant for like four or five years. Damn, right. And I just remember not liking it even as a kid. I was like, this isn't great. It taste buds and really and I only ate like four dishes, so uh, it couldn't <laughs> have been good. I, I mean, there's a reason why. But I, I think they had big ass cookies. I think I remember liking that about them. I only went one been, time. It what? has literally been probably. 13 or 14 years since I've been to one. <laughs> yeah, I, I only went to one, I think, once when I was a kid when they had one in Winston. And then it got replaced by Nukes, and now it's the Panera. Oh. Yes, it was where Nukes is. Mm-hmm. Dude, Nukes, underrated. That was that, was And that came at the right point for me in Winston, where that was around the time I really started liking sandwiches. <laughs> Nukes, Nukes was good. We still big have one of their big-ass right? cups. I think I saw one here the other day when I was driving around doing Uber Eats. I'm pretty sure I saw a Nukes, and I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and also, just to go back to the point that this like was actually a leaked album, he says in the lyrics like, "This is the Carter, the Carter Three, the New Testament." So he's like claiming D- like, yeah. Doesn't he say like, "This is the C A R T E R"? This is the Carter or some shit like that. Yeah, he like references it being like the Carter Three album multiple times. So you're like, "This isn't the Carter Three album." So then like <laughs> you actually know this that it was the he actually. It actually, right. it actually got licked. I'll, I'll make sure to throw a Fud Ruckers logo on the mood board this week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how we explicitly say what we're gonna put in the Instagram post. So yeah, well, I guess, well, I guess that, it that way you know they look forward to it. I was gonna say, I guess you know, like people see the Instagram post and they see the pictures that come along with it, and then they listen to the episode. Because if they just listen to the episode first, it would be weird to just go look at the pictures on Instagram. To me, at least. 
I mean, well, okay, so I have it with it's a like few a podcasts I follow that do a similar thing, but the only reason that happens is because, like, I'm listening to it, and then they'll either say, like, they'll reference an image and say, oh, because it's not a video podcast format. They'll just say, oh, check out the Instagram to see the, like, we'll post it on the picture or whatever. Or, like, I just won't look at Instagram before I listen to the podcast, and then it shows up on my feed, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Imagine being a video podcast. Couldn't be us. Well, someday we'll try it. I just have to be able to get like a good camera and shit. Because I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to do a video podcast with a with a laptop webcam. You know, I would. Oh yeah, no, not laptop. Whoops. Honestly, I'm I'm impressed with how my my phone camera just looks. Like yeah, I mean you could like you could get one of those little like I've got one of the what are they called Gorilla Grip tripods or whatever. The what? (laughs) No, it's like the. (laughs) Hang on, I gotta. This is a PG podcast. It's, it's no, it's not. P- it's PG the Joby. Gor- it's the Gorilla Pod tripod. It's 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 the one with like all the re- adjustable, like all of the three arms are. Like oh, I got you. I got you. Magnetic and shit. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, you just take that, throw it up there, and you could record the video like that. I just I don't know because it, it'd be fun to do a video format. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe it'd be weird. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it sometime. Uh, I'd love to see there us go, clam listen. up while we talk about an album. I would love that. <laughs> Why would you be any more? Get we so already, clammy. It wouldn't be any different than right now. We already joking. look at each other okay. while we're talking. I'm just, I'm just joshing around. I'm, I'm pulling your leg. So, what songs did you pulling guys it. like? Also, pulling. I liked Kush. It Kush. Was, I, I thought it was, it was kind of funny. Like the first time I heard it, just to I know. say. And we smoked that Kush like just right off the bat. I, and, and we bought dude, like I, a whoosh. I did not like the chorus to that one at all. <laughs> I uh, did it at first, and then like listening to it more, it did get like more funny and more catchy. It was yeah, one of those yeah, songs you like, like listen to a couple times. Yeah, and we smoked that Kush. Yeah, that Kush. Yeah, and we ball like swoosh. Yeah, like swoosh. And you're like, for, okay, and we buy like switch. It's like for me, it was like of, all, it. of, of it, all the ones that grew on me, that was not one of them. I it, still, I still don't like it. It passed the ironic boundary. Like it was it at did. first, it was like it was like, okay, this is funny, and then I was like, okay, I actually like this now. A little yeah. bit. I never crossed that hurdle. Oh, there is one Fud Records in North Carolina. It is in Asheville. Oh, so why didn't we go? We were <laughs> there. Fuck? We we missed out. We ate at Bojangles. What the hell were we thinking? What the Bru- what the hell? Uh, but I didn't have any songs. But you, you liked? didn't like any songs. Well, then tell us why you didn't <laughs> like some songs. Then I told you I just hate his voice. Yeah, but yeah. like more specifically, is there any? Th- is, no, is, 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 is 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 literally I your mean, whole get, podcast uh, podcast right, notes? Is right, guys, I didn't like any of the songs, and <laughs> th- I don't like his voice. This week. My podcast notes definitely sounds early two thousands. Yeah, that's also what I really like about Wayne it, is a hundred percent a feature artist for me. I just don't like his voice. <laughs> I thought it was fine. All right, so we'll see some you next week. Some of the beats week. were interesting. <laughs> some of the beats were interesting, but nothing really stands out for me. Which song did Jordan like so much? Question mark. Which one did I like? I'm in me. What is it? Oh, bro. There, there's five <laughs> songs. <laughs> no, there's six. There's six. No, there's there five. Jamie got the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did I think there were six? <laughs> I'm me, sorry. Yes. But honestly, gossip, I kind of like the I beginning. Think... It starts out kind of high, and then like the beat drops a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it, it is very res- reminiscent of the 2000s, which like can be good or bad, depending on the music you've been right. listening to recently. It's... But I right. love that it, wasn't though. That wasn't a dig or anything. I mean, like, no, no, I know, really I know. Kanye, and you can tell that, like, oh, yes, this album came out in 2004, but it's not a bad thing. No, no, but, I know, Yeah, I, know. I just thought it was very, like... Okay, I didn't I I like weird beats behind stuff, but I didn't like the classical music used as the track for was it Love Me or Hate Me that's like it sounds like orchestral music is the beat to it. Thank you. I've been through it all. The fails, the falls. I'm like Niagara, but I got right back up like Viagra. I am agriculture. Swagger so mean it might insult you. <laughs> I'm like an ultra vulture. I fuck around and catapult you. 
Um, it might be talking. Is it? I think I think it and it and I'm me both have like a. I think I'm me has like some horns in it, but I think Love Me or Hate Me might have no, some. No, Love Me or Hate Me. It had it had straight up piano and strings, and it was okay. like an orchestra, which I think normally I would like, but in contrast to Wayne's voice, it was such a jarring disconnect i i couldn't get it the if i were to save any song on it i would have saved talking about it i think that was probably the only one i that was probably like the one i liked the most and i still didn't love it the beat uh, on that um, one's really good too i like that one yeah and, th- and that's what it is it's it's more just like the beat is the most interesting to me um yeah i, I mean i just i i just don't like wayne and i i i don't know yeah, I think I I'm think, not saying I never will. I just at no point has any of his stuff ever grown on me. For a while, I didn't even like his feature in uh, "Forever." Like that was my least favorite part of the song, but now I like it. So it, I don't know. I think "Love Me or Hate Me." Wait, what did you say? I said "Q Q Up" music, oh. like from the movie "Up." Mm-hmm. So sad. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, what were you saying, Nick? Got to take. You're talking about the saddest first five minutes in a movie ever. Holy shit! It is. I'm pretty sure I saw that in theaters as like a twelve year old. Like, like I, I don't really remember, but I, I just remember not, not having like, not having the mental maturity to understand the depth of what, what was happening, but still like, being very sad. Dude, that movie's so good. Mm. It is really good. I need to see Wally again. Me too, because that was one I didn't like when I first saw it, and I think I would really like it now. Wally is crazy good, dude. Yeah. Eva. Wally. Eva. Like, I, uh, I saw Inside Out in theaters, and I thought it was good. Me too. But people, like, people, like, love that movie. And I, I just thought it was good. I'd give it, like... I think, yeah, I think it's good. I'd give it, like, a six See, and a half, seven. I don't know how many times I've had the debate of uh, especially with with uh i think one of the cl- distinct memories i have is doing it at a uh, brunch one time i went with vic and uh some of her friends that then became kind of my friends too uh doing like the mcu rating right but i feel like i want to do like a, a, a pixar tier list yeah. or some shit like a disney pixar tier list bro the, the holy let's be honest, the holy trifecta holy trifecta throw them all in there together are toy story the incredibles and monsters inc don't come at me with Finding Nemo, okay? I don't no, want to hear. No, okay. Finding Nemo is good, but it is not. Uh, it's not. It's not crazy. Good, exactly. Right. It's good, but it's not insane. Like literally, the, yeah, I would agree. Toy Story. I would. Yeah, I would probably leave Monsters Inc. in the top three. The only one that it's close for for me is like I really love the first Cars. I was about to that say that was really good. I would, like, I would, I would swap out the Incredibles with the car. See, bro. more than the oh, Incredibles. No. Incredibles is number one. Incredibles is number one. Incredibles is number one overall. I, w- That's I no would swap out, swap out Toy Story before I swapped out the Incredibles or yeah, Monsters Inc. Toy, yeah. I, see, and I think that's just because I watched, I watched the Incredibles and Toy Story more than I watched Monsters Inc. But I, I like, they're it's a great film. I was about to say I'd I watched the Incredibles like, release. It's, it's it's all just a nostalgia at this point. Incredibles. But is the best movie that they've made and i and i am confident in saying that because the incredibles 2 is an easy top 10 and it's almost it's like almost a direct continuum so the fact that that is so good to me just cements the fact that the first one was as good as i think it is because that movie is crazy good the sound the scoring the animation it still holds up like the jokes are funny it it wasn't like it was a kids action movie that didn't treat kids you know like they're stupid like that's i mean that's why disney pixar movies are so good is because it doesn't treat kids like they're fucking morons and need to be spoon-fed there's like of course some of the plot points are like childish but like there's legitimate like tension and rising action and resolution and like character depth you know that you can just appreciate more as you get older the only reason beautiful what wait honestly Elastigirl. Anyways, uh, well, what about the Elastigirl? <laughs> <laughs> the 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 reason I like Car so much too is because I got to go to like a premiere showing for it before it even came out, 
and Larry the Cable Guy was there too. And they were like <laughs> what the talking f- about it. Wait, and he was, like, hold on. Doing all Why have we never heard this before? And then I actually got, Why have we never heard? It was like this it was like an outdoor amphitheater or something. Jamie, you're lagging a little bit. I don't know. If Jordan, he's lagging for Jordan me. went to the went to the dam. Yeah, he's lagging for me. You went to the dam. You went to a screening, like a, a yeah. professional screening of car. Where was this? I can't remember. I'm gonna have to like ask my parents how or something. Have, but it was it was not it was heard awesome. this before. Was it in North Carolina? Crazy. How? I'm pretty sure it was because I, I'm I'm pretty sure it was. But yeah, we were outside. We were outside. Like it seemed like. It, I, from what I can remember, it seemed like it was like a football field, like like one quarter of a football field, and everybody was just was like it, over was it there. At, was it at like uh, like Wake Forest football field or something like that? I'm trying to think of where you would have gone to that. Actually. Yeah, I really don't know. We might have traveled a little bit for it, but yeah, Larry Larry the Cable Guy was there, and he he was cracking jokes and stuff. But that's cr- I, how that's why not that's, talked about that. That is literally dude, crazy. I honestly haven't talked about it in like years, just because I forget about it sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. That's because what, I was like I was like crazy. decently young, like when did when did when did Cars come? Cars was like two thousand six or something. The those those childhood memories that aren't even repressed but just get buried, and then you yeah, like, yeah something then triggers them up. one day, yeah. and you're like, wait, what? Yeah, this two, happened. Yeah, two two thousand six. I was like eight, so it was like you know what you know what my memory always does with that. Any scene from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I forget about it, and then it just hits me like a brick. Because I've seen that movie probably thirty times. I've I've probably That's never watched that movie all the that way. That was through. that was like that was one of my like you know like every kid water. has like four movies they yeah. watch over and over and over that are just really shitty. That one was one for me for sure. I watched Sharkborn Live with Girl like. Every family road trip with the little minivan screen. I was like Shark Boy Lava Girl. I watched uh, way too much. That movie is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> I, it's uh, but but now it's a, about it's so bad that like it's entertaining to watch it and shit on it. Like if you do it with a group of friends, you could totally mystery science techno theater, villain. But you couldn't uh, like George Lopez. Yeah, techno George Lopez, fucking Taylor Lautner, and. Uh, uh, yeah, that movie's terrible. Uh, uh, in that okay, same vein, I've got my... I, w- I was on my Spy Kids 3 grind where... Yeah, yeah Spy, Spy Kids, Kids was perfect in that vein. Mm-hmm. Perfect in that vein. Spy so Kids was... bad now it's funny, but like at the time you didn't realize it was bad, so you're like, this was great. Bro, I thought it was dope when he dude, was in that video dude, game. Dude, the, dude, the thumb Bro, thumbs? The thumb thumbs? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> honestly, I feel like I'd go Fucking... back and watch that and it'd still be good, though. Y- Why even though was it's Machete... Like... What? <laughs> Why was Danny Why? Trejo their uncle? <laughs> Why was Danny Trejo the uncle? And he's wasn't he he was like the machete character, right? Like wasn't that his name in it? Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that like he went like somehow that's in the same cinematic universe. In. I'm pretty sure. I still I Unless think I'm it's wild those lines as a kid. It's it's wild that Antonio Banderas is like their dad. I think. In yeah, because he's like, Steve Buscemi delivers that hard as fuck line. Wait, he's uh, in it. Do you think? Do you think God oh, yeah. stays up in heaven because he too fears what he has created or whatever? <laughs> That's in a Spy Kids movie. Okay, top five Pixar. Uh, Incredibles 1, Toy Story, Cars 1, Monsters, Inc., Ratatouille. I don't I watch that much that. Pixar to have a list, I'm going to be honest. I need to see Ratatouille again. I didn't appreciate it. I watched it again like two weeks ago. Banger. Oh, yeah. Dude, Ratatouille 2, Still holds though? up. Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille? All I can say is my my top three, Mount Mount Rushmore, uh, w- with the top four, um, probably, huh? you know, like what the four fuck faces. is Mount Rushmore? Oh, okay. He's just saying he doesn't have a top five. He only has a top four. I thought you were saying there was like an animation, like one of their short animations that had like Mount Rushmore or shit like that. Nah. Honestly, I probably animation. couldn't even name a fourth one. I, I I'm not a huge Cars guy. Bro, we gotta we gotta make some we gotta make some fucking tier lists. I want to get some tier lists on. We gotta <laughs> think right, of things to make tier lists of. Um, I have a letterbox. But yeah, you you made me go through all my notes, so I don't have any more notes. So you guys <laughs> you guys got this. Jamie said you made me go through all my notes in the first minute of the podcast. So <laughs> I, didn't, L- I didn't. Listen, have I had this three was, bullet it points. Was, okay. It was, it was sadly how little notes I had. It's okay. Sadly, what? It was sad how little notes I had. I'm just going to roll into an ad read for High Noon Seltzer. Whoa, dude, they're not paying us. I got to bleep that. <laughs> Please bleep Check out. Is it good? That can looks really good. It I looks actually, like it would taste good. I actually do love it. It's like, it's a seltzer that's like, 
vodka and fruit juice, but it just tastes like like a like carbonated juice. I was I was gonna get some claws tomorrow. Maybe I'll maybe I'll see if I can pick up unnamed brand. They're delicious. They're a little um, they're they're a little like uh, a little expensive, but we need to get enough uh, listeners so that we can get beverage sponsorship. <laughs> I just drink it during it. But I was gonna I was gonna say another thing. The the hold that Grey's Anatomy had. That the, there's a Grey's Anatomy reference in this. Really? Yeah. Where? Oh, does he say I'm so sick I need Grey's or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, he said I, my flow would have to plead insanity. So sick I need Grey's Anatomy. I'm like that show is still pretty relevant to this day, and this was released in 2007. That's the wild. hold that that show has. I have not seen a minute of that show. I don't know anything about it other than they're hot doctors and people die every season or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it is pretty. Like, much I, 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 I think I they do a Shyamalan die, but... thing where like main character, like the main character in a twist ending, always dies every season or whatever. It's yeah, kind of like, I think that doesn't seem very unexpected. Uh, they die well, I mean, season. at one point, I think you're watching it because you like that, though. You know, Mr. never see me. Having never seen any of it, I would imagine it's almost the most predictable writing ever, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, have you ever written a TV show? I don't want to hear you no. rat on Grey's Anatomy, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it for my notes, too. Except like he said, these N-words is ducks, where you can call me Scrooge because I'm swimming in bucks, bitch. <laughs> I did, I did catch that line a couple of times. <laughs> They're so good. It's so good. He has so many one-liners, especially back in the day. Like he said, had so many one-liners. His music's not bad music. I hate his voice. Hey, hey. I'm just going to say it. Doesn't have the cultural impact that he does, but Blueface makes equally as good one-liners. Not as often, but I still think they're f- as funny as some of the ones that Wayne puts out. He's got some funny ones. Yeah. I'm saying sure. not 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 at the doesn't have the cultural impact or the or the uh frequency at which Wayne produces them, but just the one-liners themselves are really funny. Like really funny. The bagel funniest one, one ever? Go ahead. Nope. Come on. Funniest one ever. Funniest the bagel one is incredible. That is still <laughs> that is still my, no. my favorite. Uh all I want from a from a whore's horchata? No. <laughs> Whoa! I forgot about that. That's what he says. That's what well, I No, it's the drop top Martin Lawrence. My shit's ruthless. I need a Kim Possible to play with my Rufus. <laughs> that is a pretty good one. That is, that, is, that is maybe the best line ever in rap. Maybe. Some, some KP reference in there? It's funny. It's funny. But yeah, other, other than that, I think I'm... Call me Ron Stoppable. <laughs> Imagine you... having the last name Stoppable. Oh, yeah. Bro, she go, though? She go hard. Who? She go, the, the female villain in... Uh... In Kim Possible? Yeah. That's going on the mood board. How do you not know she go, dude? Maybe I will when I see her. I feel like I didn't watch that show much as a child. Really? I see. I, well, that's because you were like a Cartoon either. Network kid, right? <laughs> Big Cartoon Network kid, baby. See, I was, I was Let's primarily, go. especially at that point in time, I was big, uh, like Disney Channel show person. So, like Hannah yeah. Montana, Kim Possible, The Proud Family, uh, just anything in the early two thousands era. That was my shit. I watched it. Yeah, I was, I was a Disney Channel. I watched a fair so, amount. Oh, of uh, Lilo and Stitch. Ooh. She was incredible. Uh, yeah, see, dude, hey, listener, check the Instagram for the picture. But Nick, this this person, oh yeah, I know her. Yeah, yeah, she's she's now been in the the um, the goth women renaissance that everyone's like, this was my uh-huh. sexual awakening, and it's like you know Jade from Victorious. Or, but I've seen a lot of people Raven, do, uh, she go that hmm? girl from Danny Phantom. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, I said yeah. I said Raven from Teen Titans. Raven T Titans, or or you know even I would even say not included in the meme, but you could throw Starfire, Beast Boy, of course. Uh, maybe Cyborg, maybe you know they're all not good Robin, looking. Though. He was a Robin was a bitch. <laughs> Robin's a little basic boy with tools. He has no powers. Number number <laughs> one, 
little, little bald boy with the sunglasses. <laughs> little, little Hey Arnold in a different universe. You're lagging again. Also, Nick, I don't know if Curse you've seen me down. lag. I don't know if you've seen me lag this pod, but mm-hmm. your internet just cuts out sometimes. Like, like it like disconnects and then goes back. Like, <laughs> like I'm on, I'm my, on data like, right now. No, no, no. I mean, like here at this apartment. Oh. Like, like my Spotify just like goes dead and it has like the disconnecting symbol. And when I'm playing video games, sometimes like everything just stops. And then like seven seconds later, it like goes really fast and it like jumps me back into it. It happens like maybe a couple times a night. Not like crazy. Like if, 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 if you're not doing something that's constantly streaming or updating like a video game or something, then I don't think you'd notice it. But maybe it's just I don't I don't think it's the way I plugged it in. Cause that seemed kind of weird, but yeah, I can try and call them in a day or two and see if no, 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 it's okay. I really, time. I, it's not that big of a deal. Honestly. Well, Nick, didn't you used to have that when we'd play like Warzone and shit there? You would kind of have a few like lag spikes and shit. I don't think it would happen every night, and I wouldn't notice it on my phone that much. Yeah, no, no, on my phone, I definitely would not notice it though. Hmm. Okay, it, it, it's literally just for like a constant stream where it's like constantly pinging. Like if I'm watching a YouTube video where. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to bring up your like maintenance issues on uh on our podcast. <laughs> we, anyway, we can cut this up. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it for we the notes. Too. Jamie, editor extraordinaire. Yeah. So, Nick, do you have any more notes, or is this going to be our shortest episode in like years, ages? Uh, How's how did he say he's going to get water? He has to go. He has to rate it first. He chose <laughs> this week's episode. He he don't know. He, he ain't paying attention. Bro. Um, brings up brings up internet maintenance while he's while he's rooming in your <laughs> North Carolina apartment and then leaves when he has to rate that episode. Um, I'll hit him with a a, cu- a couple one liners w- real quick. Um, well, may- maybe I'll wait till till Jordan's back. I feel like he would appreciate them. Dude, where's he getting fucking water from? Why is he? I guess the tap. Is? Unless he has a Brita. <clears throat> I feel like Jordan's the type of guy to just crack open a new plastic water bottle every time he wants water and Probably. pour, it, pour yeah. it into his Grateful Dead water Wait, bottle. What? I haven't even it. had a water bottle in like... Fr- Dude, I'm sorry. I was eating goldfish and my mouth was like so salty and I thought we were going to finish up a little earlier, but no, I got we that. didn't. So. I, I, was just, I was just joshing around. But uh, some of my favorite one-liners were uh, on the real deal, no pickle. Um, <laughs> uh, That's a pretty good one. There's a part where he says, please, crackers with cheese. Um, I enjoyed that. He says, word to my Gooch boots, as in Gucci boots. But he said, but the fact that he shortens Gucci to Gooch, I enjoyed that. Um, and uh, the, 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 one of the best ones, I think, was he says, he says, your, your bitch is on my dick like a glue stick. I thought that was, I thought okay. that was interesting. Um, that seems doesn't he say she's stuck? I'm pretty. I thought possibly. he said she's stuck on my dick like a glue stick. Because otherwise, why would the glue stick? Exactly. I was like, I don't understand why the glue stick is in this. I scenario. thought he said she's stuck on. Maybe that would make but more ma- sense. But maybe not. Maybe maybe he just fucked up. I don't know. Maybe maybe I wrote it down wrong. Sorry, I misquoted you. Patron saying yes, little Wayne's rap, gonna be here, Mr. Yes. Wayne. Yeah, when Lil Wayne listens to this, he's gonna be pissed. While your bitch is on my dick like a glue stick, I really thought it said stuck. Maybe my brain. So Nick, take back that apology, Jamie. Issue one. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Jamie. We're waiting. We're waiting. I'm sorry that you got offended. <laughs> I, the, I the love those, 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 those kind of shitty apo- oh. like the shitty apologies like that where people listen say like that. i'm sorry that you feel that way <laughs> but look, look i'm look i didn't mean it like that i'm sorry you took it that way it's sorry, your fault you're, you're sad <laughs> nick is that the red stripe hat with the built-in bottle opener it is you know it is hell yeah i haven't worn a best hat ever bro Still, the funniest shit was you bringing that to the graduation cookout, and Larry was like, "Who brought the reg strike?" You know I did, Larry. This is said, the second time I've drank this in my whole life, but I'm gra- I'm glad I have some I have credit. Clout. Yeah, Nick. Nick brought the credit. Uh, 
Do any more one liners, or we get to, we get to throw out the rating? I'm ready. Okay, Jordan, you get to go first. Hold on, dude. He's scrolling. Twitter. I'll give this. A... No, I'm actually not. But uh... oh, Snapchat. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I want. I'll give this an eight. An eight. Okay. Okay. Just love you... love two thousands era music. Also, so firework. Uh, California Girls Didn't Dream, have to cut me BT. off Have a okay, that, line that, Hop yeah. a line to change your number Banger Some Gautier that, that, Honestly that song is so good One hit wonder What a cool video. music video too mm-hmm. Well they were one hit wonder Because no one could fucking pronounce their band name Tragic and maybe they didn't make any more good music also. But I don't know. I, I can't I can't attest to that. All I know is their name is weird. Next week exactly. we're doing uh, all of Gautier's discography. We're, we're listening <laughs> to it all. How many albums? They're one song. I have no idea. <laughs> Nick, what's uh, your uh, what's your rating? I, I'm going to drop a solid uh, so, solid solid six and a half. Nice, nice. Six and a half. Uh-huh. Interesting. It was Interesting. it was fun, you know? It wasn't like might not throw it on all the time, but I, I'd love to listen to it with with Jordan on the way to cookout. You know, yeah. Maybe you Makes know sense. you know what we're we're adults now. Maybe maybe late night s- snack. We don't do cookout. Maybe we figure out something more civilized. I don't know. I was about to say, dude, we, we could like cook something. I also have an yeah, ice man. cream maker where I can make any kind of ice cream. Dude, dude, I, yeah. dude, dude fucking uh, someone on one of the podcasts, let's see, was talking about how they make their own ice cream, and I was like, dude, I need to get an ice cream maker. It's so I cheap. I love homemade ice cream. It pays for I know. itself, like in a couple of uses. Like that's in my lifetime. Thing. It'll. It's like seventy bucks, but it'll definitely like. Plus, pay for one it. of my favorite things about it is I like to suck on the rock salt while I make the ice cream. What? All right, we're what ending rock? the episode there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rock salt, the like ice cream salt, the like big salt chunks that you put in the, and then you put on the ice, and then it. Jordan only uses. I don't think sugar. I've ever had rock salt in my ice cream before, or made no, it with rock salt. I gotta. I need to look at your ice cream maker then, because I think. It's from Cuisinart. I gotta look at Cuisinart. it. Cuisinart. Like, we've my family owned probably like three ice cream makers in my life, and we always had. Uh, I gotta I gotta look at your rig. You just you just stick it in the freezer. It freezes, and then you just pour the ice cream in it. And it has this roundabout thing that uh, breaks it up. Right, it, it has to it churn it. Yeah, yeah. It basically has a churner and a and a frozen bowl, basically. Uh, well, okay. So I, I think in that case, what where you would put the rock salt in is you would f- you would have the tube, and then you have an outer barrel, and you fill the barrel with ice around oh. the churner, and then you put rock salt on it because like salt on That's ice gets like really cold. Right I got we gotta I gotta see your rig. We can post that on the mood board too. All right, all right. Um, and then your rating, James. four point seven five. Higher than I thought pretty, it was going to be. That was higher than it's, I thought it was going to be too. Because it's not bad music, so it's a five. Objective. That's 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 the baseline for me. Five is it's not bad music, but I don't like it. But I really didn't like listening to it, so it got, it it got docked a little. So you knocked it down right. a whole quarter point. <laughs> yeah, it's slightly below average for me, and that's just because it's Wayne. I just don't like his voice. Fair enough. It's okay. It's okay. Huh. We're allowed to have uh, bad opinions on the podcast. We, we all can't have good taste. <laughs> uh, so that brings it to an average of 6.42 and puts it solidly at 41st. Um, oh, that'd be higher. Damn, it's really... Well, I kind of brought it down a lot. Uh, it's right below... Damn, there's a lot of albums right around it that are all tied. Five albums are tied for 36th. Jeez. Oh, that's probably why it's... <laughs> well, actually, no. Obviously, True Sadness, 22 a Million, Women in Music, Sound and Fury, and The Color Spectrum. Oh, wait. Sound no, The Color Spectrum 36. is slightly above those. Sound the and Fury. I don't... Know, I should, I don't I, that's one of the ones that whenever we eventually do our re-rating thing, we keep talking about. That one's going to get higher for me because I gave it a six and a half. We, we need to we need to do that sooner rather than later so we don't have eighty albums. It's gonna to get harder. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, y'all are gonna re-listen to them? No, no, no. All of them? I, I just meant oh, I was I'm like, still, still like a whole list. Like, 
Yeah, Still we'll do that good. sometime. Maybe, maybe we'll do that in a couple weeks. We'll, we'll, uh, but um, and then it's slightly above. Yes, Lord, stories don't end. Samstown. At all, those are tied for forty second. Um, see, I think it's so funny. Like, I feel good about our like top fifteen, but once it gets in this area, I'm always surprised at where stuff like stacks up. I'm like, that's not higher or that's not lower. Like, it's I don't know. I just think it's funny. Um, so then I guess now typically, uh, Nick would be announcing the next week, but we are actually going to directly lift an idea from Red and Link's, uh, Ear Biscuits podcast. Thank and you we are way. going to, we're, we're, we kind of, you know, just cause you know, we like to break up the rotation sometimes to keep it fresh. So we're going to take at least a one week break, but next week, not a break as in we're not going to do an episode but take a break from the normal selection. We're going to actually do our, the three of us are going to make top 10 of our favorite albums. That's not like the ones we think are the most like musically impactful or anything like that. It's purely like subjectively. What are our top 10 albums? Yeah. And that's next week. And uh, yeah, that's next week's, that's next week's podcast. So, you know, it'll come out still on Sunday, but instead of doing a rotation, we're going to take it. At least a one week break from the normal rotation. Maybe two weeks from now, we'll talk it over. Maybe we'll decide to do the re-rating thing. I don't know. If that's, mm-hmm. um, but yeah. So we're gonna do, and I guess we can go ahead and say it too. We're also going to have um, when we do our top ten albums, we're all gonna choose one because we can't uh, just cut in like entire songs or entire albums. But as a product, we're gonna make playlist like at least a spotify playlist the of like w- uh, we're all going to choose one song from each album we put on our list to like represent it and then there's good so there'll be a playlist of 30 songs it'll be like what we think represents the album in the thing so then the the listener can also listen to that um still probably won't publish that until the episode comes out too mm-hmm. but uh just because we don't want to spoil of course. the countdown um so yeah and i'm definitely going to try to <clears throat> I'm gonna try to figure out how to plug it and try to get uh, the attention of Red and Link. Um, one <laughs> to you, give credit biscuits. for the idea, but then also maybe a little shout out because I feel like some NC after State to their boys, list, you know, me and Nick might have some similar appearances to some of theirs. You know, we you know we got similar music tastes. You know, they were engineers. You know, Jordan engineers saw them from North the Carolina, Carolina who went. I yeah, I saw them in person crazy that's true i was unable to get tickets and i had to work and oh. i couldn't get my shifts dropped damn craig uh my, my, old, my old roommate and that was before we were content creators now <laughs> if we were to do it i would be like hey guys <laughs> my my old roommate walked by them in uh um the wolf village not not wolf village in the wolf ridge like plaza in the courtyard bro i would have shit my pants he like and he didn't really recognize them he just saw them walking with like uh the assistant dean and he was like huh and then he like turned around and he was like wait dude no way that was so red f- and link <laughs> it was so funny yeah see that's a mile away i'd be like oh that's right everybody saw them leave and like there was like a like just a little crowd like all like hanging behind them like following them <laughs> and the dean was like of course they were and then the dean was like you guys like i'm just gonna show them around like you guys can't be following them but i'm pretty still sure people like like from a very far distance which is uh-huh. like we're still bro, you, you know they were there are there are always those people who were like they're on the opposite ends of the bell curve from like not giving a fuck they're like still the small percentage but they're just don't get it that yeah. that's like so weird it's so funny uncomfortable for everyone mm-hmm. uh yeah so so we're directly lifting that idea but we'll also credit them <laughs> Uh, it's okay but yeah so you know we just thought it'd be a fun thing so then we can uh, we can finish up with just what we've been listening to this week um hang on i I forgot i wrote my notes on my phone this week so i gotta i gotta find that well me i of course have been listening to the ballad of dude and juanita by the great sturgill simpson um yes confirmed confirmed to be his last solo effort oh so, really so he said uh he said i didn't know that yeah he said a while back that he kind of only wanted to put out five albums and i read oh. um a big profile on him that rolling stone put out 
And at the end of it, he said uh, he was basically positive this was his last Sturgill record, and he'd like to join a band and have less pressure on himself. And like, please uh, be the four hundred unit. Please be the four hundred unit. <laughs> That'd be wild. But uh, he he just uh, he said like uh, it sounded like he kind of wanted to build a band from the ground up and like um just tour and make music as a part of a group. So he didn't have like I get his that. name representing the entire content of like everything he creates. Dude, but, I, uh, I, would, I get that completely. Yeah. I, I fully would just fall under that pressure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, but I, I'm still excited for what's to come. You know, I'm. Uh, it made it, it made it sting a little more that I I'm gonna miss um the concert that he's coming to in Raleigh because it might be one of his last solo shows, like yeah for the possible foreseeable future. But at yeah. least he'll still do, and I mean, I'm sure that even once he has a band, because like his music has other instruments. Like I'm sure he'll still play. Yeah, some of his solo. He's work. like he is a virtuosic guitar player. Like it's yeah. it's wild. If you ever see him play, um, mm-hmm. I watched an acoustic performance of uh, of one of his slower songs he has called "Oh Sarah," and uh, like that he wrote for his wife, and he just like the way he like finger picks the guitar is just incredible. Well, yeah, because he's he's started off in that bluegrass background, and that shit never goes away. Like, if you've ever seen, I mean, like watching you know Marcus Mumford and shit, just <laughs> watching people play uh-huh. bluegrass guitar is it it hurts my hand just <laughs> watching it. Uh-huh. But yeah, I, I listen to a lot of that. Um, uh, Anderson East's new album, "Maybe We Never Die." It's almost like Southern R and B. Like it's it's really interesting. Like uh, his, but he he has such a strong voice. It's like. It's uh, it's it's interesting and it, it it's really good, but um, that's a, that's a Dave Cobb produced album as well. But uh, Lord, uh, good new album, Solar Power, you know. And I yes. uh, also listened to some of the Killers' new album, and uh, what was the last thing? Oh yeah, got got on my Black Sabbath shit this weekend oh I yeah you were it. talking about we were when you when we were playing cod the other night you were talking bro about i was jamming some black I, I didn't know i liked black sabbath that much it was good sturgill simpson's first name is john yeah i learned that like two days ago i just learned it john I looked sturgill at his wikipedia mm-hmm. uh well you took the the wind out of my sails uh oh. three the three things i wrote down for recent listings were lord's new album great and sturgill's new album also great uh I don't know. I've also been back on my peach pit, glass animals shit. Of course. You know, that's you know, always, a always. constant, <laughs> you know. Uh, now I'm trying now I'm really trying to look and see what Oh, and you know, RKS, the Holy Trinity. Obviously. Um Oh, also, I've been getting back into like 80s like high not hard rock but high energy rock <laughs> like one of uh, first off i still think that my favorite music to listen to to work out is like a specific niche sound from 80s rock that's like my favorite workout music um and so you know when i was in the gym last week or something i was like okay i'm just gonna find a generic playlist and i searched like 80s workout playlist and i found one that's like exactly what i'm looking for you know it's got like cherry pie panama you know just all kinds of shit like that on it uh and i've just been listening to that a lot too in the background bangers bangers for sure nice gets me, nice gets me hype it gets me hype um i've been listening to this album i'm listening moray and mo3 came out for the new song which mo3 i think it's i can't i don't know if it's mo3 are you saying okay i was gonna say are you saying mo3 or mo3 mo3 he 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 died like a year ago year and a half ago and he was on the original better days song the they scared to come outside that's the baguette song yeah but he's he's not the voice that's he's not the other voice that's in it he's Mm -hmm on the original version but not on the blue face remix version so like three artists total two of them are on one and then there's one overlapping on both but i listened to that song and then i also added a song that he just had um mind of melvin and y and w melly's new album that's like it's it's such a good song because the the beginning like it like 
they're like harmonizing, but they're like not in sync at all, but they're all just off enough. And they repeat it so many times to where at the very end, they all sync up at the same time. And it just like creates like the best intro for an album that I've heard in a while. And I was like, Oh, this is so good. But yeah, so that's it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, this is one of the shorter ones of relate. For yeah. Sure. Because I think the first 10 minutes is us just fucking around. So it's going to be maybe what may, we might break under an hour this week. True. Um, but yeah, so I guess then we can still end it, though, to, to keep by that. Uh, we just wanted to say thanks again for listening this week. And remember to tune in next week where we're going to be giving our top 10 just general favorite album lists and talking through it. Um, I guess you can't really listen to it because it's a list. Uh, so I guess check out the Spotify playlist after we uh after we publish it um and then for now though we're on twitter at at list up podcast and we're on instagram at listen up pod uh make sure to check out the new the new mood board format we're doing to see any of the images we've referenced (laughs) and then said we're gonna put in it we gotta figure out how we're gonna deliver that format but that's time will tell that um and those accounts, as well as our personal handles, are going to be in the description of wherever you found this episode. Uh, make sure to give at least one of them, ideally both of them if you'd like. They kind of offer different things, a follow. Um, just that, But especially so you can see any updates or announcement that we make, because that's where we send them out. Um, you know, we also ask if you enjoyed this episode and you feel like we've earned it, if you wanted to throw a rating or review our way on your respective platform, much appreciated. If not... Uh, We'll slightly hold it against you, but not too much. Oh, oh also remember bit. to check out interestpointproductions.com for the show merch. Um, but other than that, for now, we'll catch you next week, and remember to listen up. Mm-hmm.